It's been a long time since I've hunted in Utah, but the last time I was here, about 15 years ago, it just blew me away. The, the quality of the game, the volume of the deer and the elk, and so the chance to come back when I met Adam Fenton over on a driven boar shoot in Hungary, he said, look, we've got this beautiful ranch in Utah. would love to have you be our guest. It took me about two seconds to say when. So the chance to come here, experience this ranch that the Fentons have put together so much management in here, almost 10,000 acres, stunning habitat. Can't wait to get going. This guy's not a shooter, he's just a pretty one. I think he's really pretty, yeah, he wouldn't be a shooter, but he would definitely be something that I think you'd look at and say, huh? Well, it's a good looking spot, isn't it? Just perfect little ambush cover down here. This little open meadows and stuff where they can graze, protected. Just the place I'd be if I were a mule deer. After meeting Adam Fenton in Hungary, he told me about his family ranch back in Utah, and it sounded just too good to be true. So when the opportunity came to hunt with Adam's brother, Matt Fenton, I jumped at the chance. Yeah. I saw some elk running down there. You see some elk running here? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of fun things happening here. There's a lot of fun things happening here. Finding bucks on this ranch wasn't a problem. It was finding the right buck. I've taken plenty of muleys over my lifetime, and now I was looking for something a little bit different, something unique, something a little trashy. Do you have a non-typical back at home? Yeah, a couple, but not, not as pronounced as the one you showed me. Just a few points. Well, you'll definitely get one here. No yeah. guarantees, but we're gonna do we our best. We got a lot of non-typicals, huh? We have a lot of weird stuff. It's fun. Yeah. Who doesn't like those? You know, when you, when you cover so much ground, you see so much game. There it goes. Ah. And we looked at some nice, beautiful bucks that were just like anywhere else you would, you would shoot this buck. Negative, no. No? No. And he's good. He, I think we'll see better in the next few days. Pretty buck. Wow, what a pretty buck. And then, you know, you, you just kind of comb this whole landscape and there was a couple of big bucks that they were, they were trying to get me on because they had seen these deer, but big deer are elusive, you know? Even, even in the rut, they're elusive. They're moving around all the time, but the big mule deer, like a big whitetail, doesn't get that big by accident. My son Luke had a cow elk and a muley buck down already. So now it was my turn to try for a buck of my own. And this ranch had a not-so-secret honey hole that you just had to see to believe. We came up late one afternoon, and we, we get to the end of this hay field, looking at the house in the distance, and it's just like herds of African game. I mean, it was like some kind of Jumanji out there. It's a good buck now. It's a pretty good mass, though, doesn't he? If anybody ever asks you where do mule deer come from, you say that field right there. It's just covered in mule deer. It's just awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a buck or a doe? Oh, it is a buck, yeah. I mean, it's just every morning and every evening, just woof, they descend onto that hay field. There's, a, there's one on the far side of it. See that one coming down into the field on the far side? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a non-typical, look at that. And there was this super cool non-typical and Matt looks at this and he just says that's your deer you're gonna take that deer I'm like okay I'll take that deer so we just kind of made a move around this this big hay field God set up he's maybe 150 yards away he's walking yeah I got him bunch of does and some smaller bucks around he just stopped. He had not a care in the world. I just got prone, got perfectly set up. Yep, here we go. When he turned just right, just smacked that buck. That is a pretty deer. That's the best look I had at him with all that light around him. You could see all that trash. That was super cool, man. Super cool buck. You talk about character. They get all these non-typicals out here. It's really really amazing how many non-typicals they get here. And they get some that just have trash all over, cactus kind of bucks. But just look at this. This is absolutely an incredible slice of heaven. Seventh heaven, huh? Mr. Matt, thank you. What a, what a cool call, man. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Thank you. Good to be with you, buddy. I remember this one for a long time. Now you can watch the game. Thanks, thanks to the Fentons. Yeah. God bless the Fentons. That's all I can say. As I'm walking up, I'm like, it's one of those things where it's like a Polaroid coming into focus. You're looking at it going, what's wrong with this picture here? It's just, I'm seeing bits and pieces, but it was a double main beam. He's got like a double main beam. Look at that. He's got a double main beam. What is that? Huh? That's How cool is that? Yeah, you don't see those every day. They said, yeah, we've got a lot of non-typicals here. We get a lot of trash on them, I'd say. Look at that, it's kind of bladed here and everything. How cool is that? Here comes Mr. Matt, the hero of the day right here. That's a pretty funky rack, man. How cool is that? Gosh dang it. Isn't that neat? That is cool. Oh, I have a... never seen anything like that. Nor have I. Yeah, that's, uh, you'll never shoot another one like that. No. I mean, I've never shot a buck like that. I'll never shoot another buck like that. A double main beam coming out on a mule deer with trash around is just super cool.